Hello everyone, welcome to another video on this channel and I hope you enjoy this day. Today we are going to be talking about something a bit different, which isn't to do with gaming, but I think I'll have some gameplay in the background of this video. As you know, most of you are probably doing GCSEs right now, GCSEs being a thing you do in school for anyone who's not English here, between the ages of 14 and 16, around that. And I'm going to do a video about some resources that you could use to help you with your maths revision for your GCSEs if you want to revise. Because in my opinion, and in quite a lot of people's, people's opinions, maths is one of the most important subjects, I reckon, within your whole GCSE. Well, within all of your GCSEs, to be honest. So I'm going to go over a few, well, a few resources on the internet, and maybe in real life as well, I'll see. So first of all, we're going to be talking about something called Waldo Maths. I will leave all the links mentioned in the description. Waldo Maths is this sort of website. I'm not sure if a lot of people heard of them, but I think it's one of the best websites I've ever saw. What you do is just click the link in the description and on the side, you just click GCSE revision and you will have guidelines to what grade, you, what grade you're aiming and what you should revise to achieve that grade. It is a very good website, in my opinion, and I really recommend it. Another website that I'm going to be, going to be talking about is the website called Corbett Maths. Again, this is the sort of website that I don't think a lot of people heard of, but it still is a really good website. Personally, I've been um, recommended, I had it recommended to me by my maths teacher. What it has is videos about how to do different things. I'm not sure if you heard of that, a Java update available, but Minus that, there's videos available on it, worksheets made by the Corbett Maths team, I suppose. And most importantly, it's got practice questions and practice papers. Basically, papers made specifically by Corbett Maths to sort of allow you to revise specific areas within maths. Now, on to my final sort of website. It's mymaths.co.uk. I'm sure most GCSE students heard of this. Uh, the downside of this website, although it is a very good website, good for revision, good for everything, is that your school has to has a, has to have a subscription to it. And I'm I'm sure most schools do have a subscription to it, but maybe most students just don't use it anymore for whatever reason. But personally, I really recommend you use this website. It is a great website in my opinion. Uh, lo lots of revision to do on it, lots of papers, lots of questions. It's just an all around good good website. Now, onto something a bit different than the website is actually, it might have a website, I'm not sure, but I know that it's an app and it's kind of hard to pronounce. I'll, I'll leave the link in the description to it, but I think it's pronounced Gojimo or something along those lines. Basically, this isn't just for maths, it is for any subject that you can really do in your GCSE or in your IGCSE. And again, it's a really great app. You can revise anything you want on the move for GCSEs, for A-levels even maybe, for SATs as well, I had a little look. Basically for really anything, I think this can sort of go to people out of other countries who don't do GCSEs, but something along that level, I think there's a few other things like that on that um, on the app. So that's a really great recomm recommendation as well. And now I want to talk about um, maybe maths, maths clubs, Th that's right. Um, for anyone who's doing GCSEs in school, uh, you probably have a maths club within the school working at lunch times or after schools or whatever and I really recommend that you go to these personally I've got a maths club after school on Friday just for literally a ha half an hour a week really helps revise especially with a teacher because th they take their free time uh, to try help you and it really does pay off trust me and if you want to achieve that A star maybe A grade within your maths GCSE I also really recommend if you have something like this to go to a th further maths club because a f further maths is a further GCSE that some people choose to take for some reason I personally chose to take it but then I resigned later on but further maths club if you go to it if you have one then you can learn stuff in further maths uh, that will help you get achieve an A star or an A grade within your maths GCSE so I suppose that's everything Thank you very much for watching. I hope you do well in all of your GCSEs for people that are taking GCSEs. And have a great day. And I shall catch you some other time. Maybe I'll record some a, a new walkthrough. Who knows? Maybe you want The Witcher 2 back. But 
be sure to leave a comment down in the description whether you want me to play any other games or whether you want me to do any other re re revision sources for different subjects perhaps but have a great day and thank you very much for watching